Hello guys, how are you? Um, just a little chat, a little update. Um, I don't want to deviate from the purpose of this channel. I was viewing some old videos of mine. Sometimes I just get carried away, but that's just the way I am, and uh, it's my channel. So <laughs> um, I'm a I'm a talker. I, uh, sometimes I talk too much, but not too much. That depends. I don't know if you guys um, remember. I, I I said that um, I had I bought on a um, on a blog online um, three models. Uh, they arrived today, so I would like to share that with you to show uh, for the price of uh, one new here. Uh, in Portugal, I got with just a little bit more of a difference. I got three models, so it's not a bad choice. I mean, um, I would like to show to you first this one. It's uh, um, BF109 Messerschmitt BF109 G10. It's a very good kit. Uh, it's 148 from Revell. It's a kit to make some company to my 148 Spitfire, if you remember. Um, I'm still waiting for my... I don't know what the hell is happening. I bought uh, an airbrush, a compressor, a cleaning station. For more than a month and a half, I believe it was the stock was over and... Uh, well... They are always postponing the delivery, but let's wait. <clears throat> this one, it's <laughs> this one's a very small and funny kit. I mean, it's a Stewart M3, as you well. It's very, very good kit from Tamiya. Tamiya, it's always. A, um, <clears throat> Instruction sheet, it's on a vertical, they're very detailed, it's a very, very detailed instruction sheet, very good, it's to me, I mean, guys, I'm not, uh, <clears throat> I leave the box review in box review for you guys, I don't, know a lot of this stuff I just like to build them uh, but with, uh, <laughs> with a lot of small and uh, I hope enjoyable pieces to assemble to build it's a very very small kit uh, I don't like to have too many models begin models and not finished but I think I'm going to peel this one, you know. <coughs> very detailed, very detailed with a figure. Okay. Very good kit. <coughs> and this one, this one. Uh, Panzer. Kampfwagen 4 Ausfahren D For the price of this one here in Portugal I got this one and these other two with a little bit more uh, Instructions in English and Japanese I can read Korean if you remember uh, no, I don't know how to read Korean, but some of you guys, you remember why. It was a joke about the Academy decals. Um, in Japanese, instructions in Japanese and uh, in English, very detailed, very good. Here on the bottom of the lower hull, it says 1975. 1975. 
I believe it's the year it was built. This model, this. If Tamiya, if this is actually the the date. And this is an old tooling of Tamiya. Ah, I can't wait for the new tooling because it has a lot of detail. It has tremendous detail, this one. Uh, very good detail here. Um, you guys can see, sorry, how am I going to open this one? Bear it with me, please, if you don't want to, or well. See it for yourself. Very good detail here. Uh, oh, I love these <coughs> figures. A lot, a lot of detail. It's a very good kit, I believe it. So I'm looking forward to this one, but this one go easy now. I need to go easy. Panzer aus Kampfwagen aus Wagenday. Very good kit. Um, just a little update on the <coughs> M60 pattern. Um, if you remember, if you guys remember, I was very thrilled yesterday and chipping away the model, the paint, and I believe it wasn't it was not bad at all. I mean. It's a little bit of uh, subtle. I believe it was. Yeah, don't you guys agree? For a an armor, we saw some combat um, here. Okay, not bad. Um, however, I must say I'm not pleased with the results on the tower on the turret. It's very it was the first the first time that I did this with Maskell and the first place where I dipped the Maskell the sponge after I dipped it in Maskell so it's a little bit rough too rough it's not as subtle as this one as you can understand the chipping is very hard it's very and it's not the usual in the, <clears throat> in the turret it should be a little bit more subtle, don't you think? So what I'm going to do is <coughs> black again, let it dry, chip, uh, dip the, the sorry, <laughs> chip, dip the sponge in the mask all again, some sort of uh, dry brush but with the sponge in mask all. Take the excess of mask all and then dipped it a little bit. I believe it's going to be a little bit more subtle. Not so heavy and uh, rough. <clears throat> but <clears throat> as I told you this is a, a kit for practicing. Obviously if I another, I say another, if I get a result, a good result with this I will get it obviously but uh, this is mainly a, a kit for Practicing in the well, Fernando Duarte, Freddy, you asked yesterday in a comment, "Where's the hustler? Where's the hustler?" Just a minute, my friend. Just a minute. Here's the hustler. Here is the hustler. Um, I'm just. I would like to get this opportunity to thank all of you guys who are giving me your opinion about the <coughs> copper tube and if it's going to have strength that needs to support this beast. Um, well, I I am testing that. You see, the copper tube, obviously, when it's very long, I have it right there. It's very soft. It's very, very soft, very soft, but I'm going to have half of the length that I'm going to cut half inside the wood base. 
I believe with the structural support of the wood base, the weight of the plane, which is not too many weight, too much weight, but it's some. It's not a 172, this one, okay? Um, but the weight, I, I, I think it will be more supportable by the copper tube that it's going to get out of the wood base and um, I believe it will be able to support it just in what in which in what regards to the foam thank you guys I didn't know that the foam was keep growing for eight hours I mean I was not going to inject the foam without testing testing it first I'm uh, not as but however I didn't know someone told me that I don't know if it was Pete or sorry if it wasn't and if it was someone else I don't want to be rude but thank you very much for the advice that someone told me that the, the foam keep on growing and making some volume for eight hours so eight hours eight hours is a lot of time and uh, if it's eight hours a little bit of foam it would be enough to going out about from the windows the wells gear wells and uh and maybe to crack the yeah and i don't want that so <clears throat> thank you very much guys thank you very much um but i'm enjoying assembling uh armor now um i believe it was glenn big bounty hunter hello glenn yesterday that said uh, i don't know why you guys call us armor builders uh, dark side well uh i saw that on the <clears throat> on the video of making models again gary i believe i don't want to be rude and mispronounce the name or being wrong in the name i think it's gary and if it isn't i'm terribly sorry but i think it's gary um that made a very fantastic video as always um, when he built the, his airfix tank uh, Churchill tank I believe he made a very pleasant video with uh, Star Wars and uh, he called tank building the dark side so I adapted that, that expression I liked it a lot and uh, yeah. But even in the movies, in the, but even in the movies, Glenn, um, the dark side has its charm. So, and building this is so much fun. It's very fun. It's 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 fun. I mean, I'm not trying to say that planes are better. Each model it's completely different than the other. Uh, either it's a plane or a car or whatever. But. If if I messed up with this plane, game over. Just game over. On that, you agree, my friend. So here I can do whatever I want. I can be whatever I want. I mean, <laughs> it's more it's more forgiving, you know. But it's very detailed and beautiful. So I'm sorry. I didn't want to not offend you, but you know. <clears throat> Uh, I like very much to build armor too, so I just didn't make that since 1995, eighth time I'm saying that, so. Well, Freddy, here it is, okay, here it is, B-58 Hustler, <coughs> it's waiting for the Hekoboshi's pilot to go in here, and, um, I'm going to paint again the turret and re-chipping paint. Uh, and I'm, I think I'm going to <laughs> build this one also. I mean, I have the rest of the day and tomorrow I will have my day off. So it's a little bit gray out there, it rains. So why not? Having a little fun.
I think I'm going to do that. It's going to be a very fun kit to build. Well, guys, um, thanks for watching. I would like to thank my subscribers. I have now 164, 63, and it's uh, very enjoyable uh, to watch. Um, if you guys asked me uh, <clears throat> four or five months ago that I would have a channel, a modeling channel, and I would be posting videos so much often, <laughs> sometimes with no kind of subject, uh, which I'm sorry for that, not for the rest. Um, I would say that was a lie, that, but I'm enjoying this. Um, it's a terrific community, and uh, I'm being honest, I really like you guys. Uh, I'm building a model, but you all give your opinion, and that makes you, in a little, in a way, part of all this, uh, all this, and that's, I, I enjoy that, I like that, so, so thank you very much, okay? Keep modeling, please. Uh, all the best to you guys, and uh, keep modeling. Thank you.